Hey guys, I just got this new truck in and I'm really excited to check it out. I think my boys are really going to like it. It's a ready to run 18 scale truck and it's right up the rally. They like the small truck. So I think they're playing Legos right now. I'm going to go set everything up and we're going to check it out together. Guys, come here and check out this new monster truck I got. Here, Jake, over here. You know your spot already, right? Yeah. Look at this. It's the new drum and a monster truck. Pretty neat, huh? I like the way it looks. Let's check it out. We got some instructions here. You guys got to read that for me? Many words. Too many words? <laughs> you got to read it though, right? Look at that truck. We got the radio with it and the charger. It's ready to run. Did you read all this yet? Yeah. What does it say? Before each run, ex examine. examine all the parts of damage. If any is found, uh, do not op operate. operate until the damage has been repaired. Very good. The first line of the instructions. Very good, buddy. So look, it comes with the charger. It's a USB charger, okay? So this means that we can charge it like on mommy's cell phone charger. Maybe I'll do that. I'll take care of that. You want me to take care of that? Yeah. Or are you going to read the instructions too? Yeah, not at all. And this is the radio. How how neat is that? That looks pretty good, right? You like that? Mm -hmm. I like the. What do you like? Yeah, yeah, it's got like a brake disc in there, huh? Yeah, like, yeah, like this one. Yeah, it's got like a brake disc inside. That is really cool. Watch this. Buttons. You're not gonna touch those, are you? Uh, I know you. You like to mess with those. And this comes with the instructions that you were just reading, yeah. Jacob. And we've got batteries, right? You know what size battery those are? Mm -hmm. Double A's. You use up all these in your toys. That's why I don't have any for my radios. Well, what do you think of that? Very cool. Very cool. I know. What do you think? Uh, it's cooler than a Dodge Ram. Cooler than a Dodge Ram. Well, it actually kind of looks like a Dodge Ram, doesn't it? Almost. Mm -hmm. But that's a pretty neat paint job, right? right let's see what's inside. Well, yeah, it's all built, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what this is? Battery? Battery? No, this is the motor and it's a brushless motor, so that means it's going to go really fast. So where do you think we should drive this? Uh, backyard? Bike, yeah. bike track. The bike track, that's a good place to drive it. Maybe we'll start off in the backyard, go to the bike track some other time, all right? Wednesday? So, maybe Wednesday, that's I don't know, after day. school? That's a short day. That's a short day, I know, it's your last day of school. I like the tires on it, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. It looks like a real tire. Yeah. What do you guys think? I'm gonna show you guys more about this truck and then we're gonna go outside and have a lot of fun with it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. High fives? All right, let's do this. Okay, so I got the boys to school. They seem pretty excited about it. I have to make sure that the batteries are charged for when they get home. But in the meantime, let's go over this truck just in case you were interested in the Dromeda MT. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a really cool looking box to it. Uh, so you'll definitely be able to find that when you walk into a hobby shop. And as you can see here, this is the speed version. That means it is a brushless truck. This says it goes 30 plus miles an hour right here. It also says it's for 14 plus year old kids. Uh, well, my kids are seven, both of them are seven. So seven times two is 14. I think that's gonna work for me. They've been driving since they were two years old. I had transmitters in their hands when they were two years old. If you have somebody younger that's interested in it, make sure you just have some adult supervision, especially when you're charging the batteries and stuff like that. Let's just take a closer look. All right, as you can see, it comes with some instructions. Let's just check these out. See what they're like. We've got some AA batteries in here. This is for the transmitter. We've got some shock preload clips that goes in the shocks and helps raise the truck up if you think it's too low. All right, let's just check out these instructions. So it looks like they give you pretty much everything you need here to know. We got care, maintenance, safety precautions. And, oh look, this is this is good. This is a uh, you know a nice detailed instruction manual on what all the different parts are here. And we, you know, where the batteries go, we've got uh, how to operate the vehicle. So this is nice and entry level for somebody that's looking to get into it with a fast little 18 scale truck. So that's the stuff right there. We've got some more stuff right here, how to program the speed controller. So that's great to have. Good stuff right there. Here's the included charger. So this is pretty neat. Gives you all the instructions right here on the face of the charger. Uh, as you can see, it is a USB style. So you can plug this into your computer. Or if you have a cell phone charger that uses a USB style setup, that would be actually much better than charging this off your computer. And then there's the battery plug right there. Now here's the radio system. 
And the radio does look pretty neat. My boys were interested in that uh, brake wheel up top here. But right outside we have some steering trims. We've got a throttle trim here. And under here is the uh, on off switch. Uh, we've got a dual rate and a throttle dual rate. So that's pretty neat to see. And these are your steering, or excuse me, your steering and throttle reversing switches. And uh, it looks like we've got some little LED indicators here too. Uh, let you know when the batteries are full inside the inside the transmitter or when they're running low and you need to replace them also looks like there's a charging jack on the outside here so maybe you get some optional rechargeable batteries uh, for the radio system and use a charger if you want to do that but what i really like it's got a foam wheel on it now we've got the truck check this out this has got some great graphics on it i really like what they did with the graphics so we've got some nice chevron tires here with some uh, dish looking rims like a full-scale monster truck would have got a flexible front bumper here another bumper out back and it looks like the same bumper it is the same bumper so all right let's pull the body off this beast see what it looks like here we go we have the 18 scale dromeda mt brushless and as you can see here's the brushless motor already installed dromeda offers a number of different vehicles and some of them come with brush motors and then there is the brushless motor option which is what this has right out of the box and that's what's going to give you those 35 or excuse me 30 mile an hour speeds actually we've got a lipo for this as well so i'm sure it's going to go a lot faster than what it says on the box uh, but here it comes with the battery let's just check this battery out really quick it's a 1300 milliamp 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery and uh, that is ready to get charged up so i'm going to toss this over to the side so i can charge that up but as you can see there's the battery tray right there and you can put a lithium polymer battery in right out of the box you don't need to upgrade anything just check the settings on the speed controller make sure it has the cutoff set up let's just go over some of these features so as you can see it is a plastic chassis or flat plastic chassis we've got a plastic upper deck here up front we've got some shocks and it sounds like they're oil filled shocks we've got uh, nice springs up front and in the rear it's actually got a nice suspension feel to it right out of the box here we have the servo it looks like it has a built-in servo saver in there that goes over to the steering cranks uh, we've got adjustable links for the uh, camber links here which is pretty neat to see and then a fixed link for the steering and the suspension arms are quite flexible here so if you if you hit something you know you got some flex so nothing breaks and these axle shafts they do or excuse me the dog bones they look like they are plastic there we've got steel stub axles over here we've got ball bearings you could just see in there it's got ball bearings so that's really great to see so there's that brushless motor there that is a 5300 kv motor so that should offer a lot of power to this little machine we've got the receiver here's the speed controller and the on off switch which is nicely protected with this rubber boot here so you can go get this thing really dusty and dirty and uh, that switch won't get all gummed up so we've got uh, this drive shaft is in the center here you can kind of see it in there it is a plastic shaft in the center for the four-wheel drive drivetrain we've got plastic out drives on the diff that should be interesting hopefully they hold up well with this brushless power in here and uh it's a really nice looking truck. It's pretty flexible. I mean, you know, you're going to go and bash this thing in the backyard. You want some flex to it. So it takes the abuse rather than breaking and ending your day. Uh, but it's a really nice, really nice little truck. I'm really excited to see this thing run. And I know my boys are really going to enjoy it. Like I said before, they like 18 scale stuff. And this should be right up the rally. So let's go bring it outside and have some fun. These guys are back from school and the first thing that they asked me was, Dad, can we drive the truck? Right? Mm -hmm. You ready? I charged the battery, so hopefully we'll have enough out of this battery for both. Do you think it's going to last all day? Yeah, can I go first? But keep charging. Can I go first? What do you mean? <laughs> Who's going first? I am. You are. You said you were the first one to say I want to go first. Remember? Who always goes first. You always go first? Yeah. No, you, you were born first. <laughs> you got the ultimate first. All right, ready? 
That looks pretty fast, huh? <laughs> yeah, all right, here you go. I thought you knew how to drive. Knock your shoe off, dude. <laughs> What do you think, buddy? Cool. So our play day was cut a little bit short. We got about 20 minutes of runtime in, and then we put the LiPo battery in, and well, we broke a front axle when we went off of a jump. So that cut our day short. Luckily, I know the hobby town down the road for me stocks parts for this car, so we're gonna go grab a new one. But that's a little bit of a bummer there. We only got 20 minutes on it before we had that little part break right there. So um, I don't know, maybe, you know, for the stock battery, this thing works just fine. When you start upgrading to a lipo battery you might want to think about their aftermarket axles uh but we had a great time right guys mm -hmm. yeah what was your favorite part jumping yeah your favorite part was jumping what was your favorite part racing racing i think they like the speed too right you like the speed mm -hmm. yeah you definitely talked about how fast it went and it was really fast uh, I think it definitely hits that 30 mile an hour mark that is marked on the box. In the backyard, it was a lot of fun. In the grass, it was it was fast, uh, easy to control uh, on the bricks and stuff. And I showed a clip of it in a parking lot. It was a handful. It, the suspension is not set up for parking lots. Yeah, and he was he just said that this thing was so fast it was ripping up the grass in the yard. So. I know these guys definitely like it. But overall, the Dramata truck was a lot of fun. It was really fast, and for a ready-to-run 18 scale, brushless, out of the box, around $140, this is a pretty great truck. So, Jacob, Logan, and myself, we really hope that you enjoyed our video. We have a lot more reviews coming up. These guys are amped to do even more reviews, more testing, even some more durability testing. And so make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications button, and if you have any questions about this truck, throw in the comments section below and either I or one of our awesome viewers will get back to you.